Good morning everyone. This is Echo92503 on YouTube. Um, it's early in the morning. I had a late, late night uh, last night but couldn't sleep this morning. So I'm up with my coffee and my bagel. And I wasn't home yesterday so I couldn't open up my day four package. So I figured I would go ahead and open four and five today. And I'm going to go ahead and start. Oh, you know what? I want to share something with you guys. I'm not sure if I'll have enough time, but I'm going to try to do this. Let me move this out of the way. I've uh, been out here working on a couple of little projects. And I got this new Tim Holtz die right here. It's the uh, poinsettia. I'm going to tell you something. This thing is so cool. Um, I made my first... Of course, you know, we're probably going to have a disaster here. Anyways, uh, I made my uh, first poinsettia. And I really love this die. You know, so if you guys get a chance to get it, you should get it. But anyways, this is the little deal I want to tell you about. This came in the die. I, I wasn't even aware of that. And what it says, it says, Talking Tag, Message Label, Give Voice to Your Passion. And it says, Attach Message Label to Your Cherished Keepsake and Record Up to One Minute of Audio for Secure Limited Life Storage. So I guess, I'm assuming this little thing right here, you just peel it off. I really don't know. And you stick it on on the card or, you know, whatever it is that you're making. I haven't quite figured it out yet, but I just noticed it. You know, I thought it was just a little tag or something. I was getting ready to throw it in the trash and I started looking at it. Oh, wait, here it says, download the talking tag app from your service provider to your smartphone. Scan talking tag with your app and follow the instructions to record and save a message. Huh. Interesting. Well, anyways, that came free with your, you know, poinsettia. So, hey, two for one, right? But anyways, that's enough about that. Well, I'll show you one of the poinsettias I made real quick. This is one right here. Isn't it gorgeous? I mean, wow. It really, this is just the paper one. This is pretty cool. You know, I'm going to try to do some other stuff. Um, Nicole and um, Terry sent me a burlap flower. And I think I want to try one of these poinsettias out of bur burlap. So, but anyways, I had some just scrap papers laying around with some felt on them and stuff. So I cut them out. And this is what you get. You get, you know, when you first cut it out, you get like a big, big leaf, a small leaf, and you get your middle part. And then you just cut out like six of these and six of these and you put them together and then you put this on there. And then you also use these for your leaves, you know, your big leaf and your small leaf right there. So anyways pretty cool so oh one other thing I wanted to share too while I'm wasting my time I might I might this might have to be a um, its own video this little gadget here I'm gonna tell you I wished I would have kept the wrapping for it and I saw it somewhere on some YouTube channel or something some lady was using it right it's an eraser and I'm gonna tell you what this little puppy gets glue off of anything you know, if you get some glue, say, you know, you're making a card, and you know how we get the little stringy things, or we get a daub of glue on there, and we're like, oh, darn, you know, and we're trying to rub it off and rub it off, and then the next thing we know, we've rubbed a hole in the paper. Well, this little thing right here, it, you just take it, let me see if I can get in frame here, you just take it, and you go like this, and I mean, I don't care, it, it will take it off, right off, and it doesn't make a hole in your paper, and it's, I think it's um, the miracle glue remover thingy. I, I wished I would have kept it. I just, um, I don't know where the packaging is. I bought it as a, you know, just, ah, uh, yeah, sure, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. And so I chucked the packaging. And, you know, the thing is, is when it gets wore down or whatever, you just peel this stuff off and it's like a brand new eraser again. But I mean, it will, let me see if I have a little bit of glue on my table here somewhere. Just anything. I mean, it just takes it off. You know, I mean, oh, I think that's ink. Oh, well, hey, hey, it, it works off. <laughs> Takes the ink off too. <laughs> oh, well, but anyways, it's a, it's a great thing. And um, like I said, I just look for it online and it's really cool. So this is like one of my go-to, my little go-to things when I mess up and get um, glue all over the place. So any hoozy, you know what? I might as well just make this a video about what some of my go-to stuff is because now that I've yacked and yacked and yacked, I don't think I have enough time to uh, unwrap my gifts for day four on here. So let me see what else. Of course, you know, 
your Tim Holtz scissors, I mean, my God, who could live without those? You know, you've got to have those. I have two pairs of these. I have one pair that I only use for cutting paper and nothing else. And then I have this pair that I absolutely use for everything. I mean, I know Tim, but I use it for wire, <laughs> wire and paper and plastic and oh my gosh, I, I can't even tell you things that you're probably not supposed to use it for, but it works. And you know, and I'm going to tell you what, still cuts. Paper. Oops. Oops. See, I told you I was going to have to have a disaster before it was over with. Knocked over my hot glue gun. Anyways, what I was going to tell you is, look at this. Still cuts like a champ. Even though I've cut wire and everything else with it. You know, so it, it's a, this is a good thing. Also, my other go-to tool is this little thing right here. This is for detail cutting, an X-Acto knife. But check this out. I mean, does that fit right perfect or what? And then you can just cut. And you have so much more control with this thing. And I think this is um, by Fiskars. And it's like, I don't know, five bucks at Michael's or something. But um, this was one of the best investments I made right here. Because you know how we all have that detail that we just can't get into and a regular X-Acto knife is not going to work? I'm going to tell you, I chucked my X-Acto knife when I got this one. This is the best thing. And then, of course, you know, so here's my little three things right here. And then, hey, who can't live without a Tim Holtz ruler? I know. Uh, it's not like I'm plugging Tim Holtz here or anything, but you know, these are the things that make our life easier as a crafter. Um, I love this thing, you know, I use it for everything. Um, works great, has all the, you know, you can see through it, you can see where you're at with your paper and all that. So that's another good thing that I have. And of course, um, you know, if you don't have one of these, you need to invest in it. See that? I forget what these are called. Um, uh oh boy what is that called huh i don't know <laughs> but anyways paper puncher and brad setter i guess oh god why can't i can i can't even oh crop a dial there it is right there on the handle duh anyways this thing's awesome so i mean it's a little you know big and bulky and stuff like that but it helps you get like you know you could put a 12 get this into a 12 by 12 paper you know and make your hole anywhere you want so this is another one of my go-to tools. And of course, then I have um, these little babies here. And uh, I just love these things. You know, I think that they could have come up with a better way to empty these things out. But these, love, love, love these things. I use them for everything. And these are the uh, crocodile corner chompers. And these things are freaking awesome. I mean... I love them, you know, use them on everything, all my tags and book ends and all that kind of stuff. But the only thing I hate about it is the only way you can empty them, and this is probably full, so, is you have to open that up. See right in there? And that's where the paper comes out. And you have to bang it, bang it, bang it, bang it, bang it, bang it. Not on your table, but, you know, on your hand. And then all the paper falls out. But, you know, it gets jammed up in there and just kind of, I don't know. I think they could have designed that part a little bit better. So anyways, um, those are some of my like go-to, go-to tools and uh, they make my life easier. And so, you know, and then we all have to have one of these, but you know, you, mine's all icky because um, I use the heck out of it. But you know, um, you can, uh, you know, buy felt and put it on there yourself. But I want to show you what I do with mine. This is what I do with mine. You see this little thing right here? I'm always changing it and I don't want to buy you know 15 of these things for every ink pad that I have so what I did was I bought some ink pads and I put a little piece of velcro on there and then I put a little piece of velcro on there and for whatever color I have I just interchange them like that you know so I'll pull this one off and you know put it on the oops put it on the color it's supposed to be on and then I just go on about my business and it doesn't interfere with anything doesn't get ink on anything because there's like a little dip in here you know that kind of puts it up in there so um that was a cool cool idea right there you know so oh and of course you know then i have my atc gun you know you can't live without one of those in hot pink and uh by the way my husband bought me a cricket machine for my birthday 
Well, I think it's supposed to be for Christmas birthday. I don't really know. My birthday is December 8th, so I always get ripped off at Christmas. Or my birthday. But anyways, it's hot pink just like this. So that's cool. But anyways, I've run out of time. And the only other, you know, miracle things that I have is, of course, our red tape. And um, what's that other stuff? You know, the white tape and all that. So anyways, I've rambled enough. So I will talk to you later. And hey, everybody, have a Merry Christmas. And keep on watching. Have fun scrapping. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.